Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Sunny. I've spent the last 15 years working in more than a dozen professional kitchens all around the world, and I'm here to share everything I've learned with you. Let's get started. Today we're making a beautiful classic Caesar salad with rosemary sourdough croutons and fresh Parmesan. For this recipe, you're gonna need fresh garlic, fresh parsley, Parmesan, whole eggs, whole lemons, anchovies, black pepper, salt, olive oil, and avocado oil. So our first step is gonna be to crush your garlic. Back of the hand on the knife, remove the skins. So after you've crushed your garlic, just run your knife through it once. Next step is just gonna be to half your lemons. Get them ready to squeeze. Take your parsley, a few sprigs, fold it against itself, halved. Take your knife, push the parsley against the back of your knife. Three fingers down. You wanna keep the parsley very compressed, pushed against itself as you're cutting. This is gonna make for a nicer finished product. Now you just wanna shred up your Parmesan on a box grater or whatever it is you use. Now that your cheese is done, we're ready to make the dressing. So now you just wanna add your eggs to your Cuisinart. Add your garlic and add half an eggshell's worth of water and blend. I'm using avocado oil for this Caesar. It's healthy, it's good for your body, and it tastes great. Hang a strainer right over the top of your Cuisinart. Squeeze lemons in. If you wanna use a lemon juicer or something like that, go ahead, I have my hands. I'm gonna do lemon to taste. If you like more lemon, do more lemon. If you like less, do less. But I think a Caesar should be very bright and citrusy, so I'm gonna start with one and a half. Give a few little dashes of Worcester sauce. I'm gonna use a little bit of soy sauce in here. Now, I know you may think this is weird, but I want you to think of this like liquid salt. It's gonna add a nice rounded seasoning and more depth of flavor to the Caesar. Don't go overboard, just a little splash. So I'm gonna put a few of these little sea creatures in here called anchovies. I'm not a huge fan, but I put maybe two or three little choves in there and that's it. Now if you don't want to put anchovies in, don't put them in. It's going to be delicious without, trust me. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. Fresh ground, of course. Add in your Parmesan cheese you just grated. And your parsley. Okay. So we're putting olive oil in. It wouldn't be Caesar without olive oil but we're adding it last. Reason being, if you overblend olive oil, you're gonna pull some bitters out of it. So we're just gonna briefly thicken this up last time with some olive oil. Right, done blending, let's have a taste. Beautifully thick, not too thick, not too thin. Mm. The anchovy's perfect, the salt is just right. It's bright, it's lemony, it's garlicky, it's screaming for a salad. So now we just gotta chop up our romaine. One big mistake I see a lot of amateur cooks and even professional chefs make is they cut the top off. I don't know why you would ever cut the top off of the romaine. What is wrong with that? What's the difference between this and this? Nothing. So let's all have a moment of silence for all the romaine sitting in all the trash cans around the world. So what you want to do is, this is what I do, straight half through, turn it a quarter turn, through it again. I go for about maybe half inch slices, using your fingers to pull it together. Now when I get down to the end, I go a little thinner just as this ends can get a tiny bit bitter. And that is it. I got a nice loaf of sourdough here. I froze it for about 30 minutes and I pulled it out for about 10. This is gonna give us some really nice even croutons. Stack your bread, lay it down flat, 
square it up as best you can. Cut through, as soon as you hit the bottom, take your index finger, go to the other side. Hold it together, turn to the side, and slice. You could make them as big or as small as you like. I like a decent medium sized crouton. Now we're just going to get a pot on low heat. Drop in your butter and the same amount of olive oil and volume. So I just got some fresh rosemary and thyme here. Now remember the same thing with the parsley. You want to push the herbs against the back of your knife and do your best just to kind of compress them together. Especially with hard herbs, you're going to get a much better chop. Flip them around the other way. Let's go one more through. Throw your herbs into your olive oil. Give it a little stir. You just want to melt this. You don't need to heat it up too much. Spread your olive oil butter herb mixture as evenly as you can on your croutons. Now here's a little pro tip. This is water. I'm going to pour the water all over my croutons. Idea here is this bread's going to suck it up in large, and then when it dries out and bakes in the oven, it's going to be a lighter and crispier crouton. Of course, good amount of salt, fresh cracked black pepper. Boom, beautiful croutons. Lay out your croutons on a baking tray. Spread them out nicely. And into a 375 oven. Dump your lettuce into your bowl. Here's a little pro tip for you. A little bit of lemon juice before you put your Caesar dressing. It's gonna bring some more acidity to the dish and lift the whole thing and make it nice and bright. Pinch of salt as well. Go for your dressing. You like more dressing? Put more dressing. You like less? Go ahead and put less. Give it a nice toss. Now remember when you plate a salad, make a C shape with your hand. Plate it, plate it in three sections. So one, go for your next scoop, two. Never plate it all at once. It's going to spread out too much. It's going to look messy. Keep that C. Let it fall. Beautiful. Some shaved parm around as much or as little as you like. Remember, cooking is a guideline. Recipes are guidelines. Have fun. Some of our croutons. Some fresh black pepper right on top. Well, it looks beautiful. Let's give it a taste. The Caesar salad is perfect. Not to pat my own back, but try this recipe. It's bright, it's citrusy, the pepper, the croutons, the parmesan, the textures, everything works. Please try it for yourself. Guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below, and we'll see you next week.